Universe, which we emailed as well, but what does not say in case. Sorry? Right. Uh, as has been made clear, I'm reading the speech for John Sullivan. These are his words. Sadly, and hopefully only currently, my health does not allow me to read out my opinions. I have therefore asked a friend to do so on my behalf because it is vital that the lie that is your choice, Barnett, is exposed not as a misunderstanding, but as a deliberate attempt to mislead. There are many kinds of lie, a complete untruth, a partial untruth, inaccuracy, omission, but time does not allow me to explain which category each of the following lies falls into. The name your choice, Barnett, gives the impression people were given a choice. Why? Barnett Council created your choice and foisted it on users. It did not allow them to choose to keep services in-house. The brochure effectively selling this privatization of adult social services was called More Choices. Why? There was no choice. All services are administered by your choice. This brochure claimed, quote, the services will not change, only the logo will change, unquote. Why? Services have changed out of all proportion to what was available before. It stated that people could not use their direct payments to purchase services directly from the local authority, but made only one mention of the fact that people could choose not to have a direct payment and to have the council use their personal budget to arrange services. Your choice claimed they have consulted parents, family carers, and clients. Why? They arranged purely informative meetings, and the leaflets about the meetings that they sent to family carers said there would be no change to services. <coughs> Excuse me. True, attendees could ask questions at these meetings, but that is not the same as being asked for your opinion. When one parent carer asked Troy Henschel, how long can you ensure no changes, he was told, not longer than six months. The lie was exposed. No change for six months is not the same as no change. Minutes of these meetings, which I have to insist on being taken, bear little relation to the actual content of the meetings. Some parents and family carers are so concerned about the future provision of your choice services that they have repeatedly voiced their concerns in the local press and to the your choice board. Some have chosen to protect their loved ones from the avarice and vagaries of the marketplace that your choice embodies by instructing solicitors to represent them. Now we have the absolute farce of an investigation by members of this committee. How many of these concerned parents and family carers did this inquiry consult to ascertain what they think, feel, and fear? None. These parents and carers collectively have hundreds of years of 24-7 frontline experience in this field, experience far beyond that of those on the board of your choice. Yet this inquiry chose to ignore them. No investigation into a complex service such as this can possibly be considered comprehensive without that input. Your choice of claim that no staff are having or are about to have their income slashed. Why? As and when staff have had a huge wage cut, skilled support workers have been demoted to a lower paid status as assistants, a 23% pay cut, effectively forcing them out. And they have been replaced with as and when and zero hour contract staff at reduced rates. The proposed benchmarking cuts to staff incomes will drive even more of the skilled staff away to be replaced again by chill, cheap, unskilled labor. Parents and family carers know that there is no substitute for experienced and skilled staff, a view not shared by the overpaid hierarchy at your choice and Barnett Council, who have treated such long-term staff with contempt and disrespect, attitudes that will be hammered home when the benchmarking review is implemented. There are many studies available that show the inextricable relationship between staff morale, quality of services, and user satisfaction. But your choice claims restructuring, as they euphemistically call it, will have no impact on service users. Another lie. It has been lie after lie after lie. You cannot build a future for these vulnerable folk on a lie, any more than you can build a stable home on the sand. All your choice services should be returned in-house at the earliest possible time before we experience our own version 
of Winterbourne View. you say that some of the members um, have to hire a solicitor. That must cost them quite a bit. Have you any idea how much they're putting out for this service? I don't because I'm reading this on behalf of uh, John Sullivan who might have that information and maybe some of the people behind me would be able to provide that. But as we all know, or maybe there are some solicitors amongst us, maybe even members of the end of the table. Uh, could certainly tell us what they charge per hour. I'm sure it's not being done pro bono. Thank you. Thank you very much.